Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen CQ Racing, and today I want to talk about our new high traction differentials from Mugen CQ Racing. So these are going to be offered in front, center, and rear for all of our current 8 scale off-road vehicles. We will sell them as individual parts as well as complete diffs. And we will also have them in 44 tooth ring gear as well as the underdrive 42 and then also the 46 tooth for the truggy. And then center spur gears will have 44, 46, and 48. And these diffs are completely new. Uh, basically the only part that it shares from the old diff is the 3x12 flathead screws and also the small uh, shims that go behind uh, the small gears and the differentials. Even the shim that goes behind the big sun gear is changed. Um, it's also the outer diameter has been decreased a little bit um, with the old diffs. Sometimes in a really high traction situation that shim could actually kind of get coned and then cause uh, the mesh to be a little bit tight. So that was adjusted as well. The cross pins are slightly different, but you can actually use the Flashpoint aluminum hard anodized cross pins from your old Mugen vehicle or pick up a new set for these HD diffs. The out drives are also different. And the out drives, one of the cool things with them is it's the same out drive for all three diffs. So front, center, and rear all use the same out drive. The out drive is flat spotted so that the brake disc will fit on it, which also makes the front and rear out drive lighter. And then it also has the lightning hole um, similar to the original Mugen diffs. So from a performance standpoint, with the high traction differentials, what you'll notice from the current diffs to these new diffs is you'll have a lot more drive and acceleration out of the turn. It will also make for a more efficient drivetrain. Um, it's also a lot more consistent during a long run because the diff cup is a much larger volume. And what kind of gives these differentials so much more drive, acceleration, and efficiency is a number of things. So for one, with the outdrive, we went to a six millimeter output shaft, and that basically gives a little bit more resistance from the O-ring. So the initial breakaway will be a little bit stiffer, and it will also help have a better seal so that the differential can't seep and leak fluid. Next is the internal gears are much larger as well as we use a different ratio. We went from 1018 to 1020 um, for the gears. But the big thing is with the size of the gears being so much bigger, as the diff gears are trying to move, it's actually pushing fluid, which we call fluid shear. So the initial breakaway will have a similar feel to the old differentials, but as that diff's trying to actually work or diff out, it's having to push more fluid. So the initial breakaway, or you'll have the same initial grip on like a low grip track, but as the differential is trying to spool up, it's pushing more fluid and it will, it will just hold that resistance much better. Where with the old differentials, that initial breakaway would be kind of stiff, and then as it starts to push the fluid, it almost like, it doesn't have as much resistance. So it's almost like a loose slipper. So that can make it easy to drive and uh, feel very good, but usually lap times are slower. You don't have as much drive and acceleration, harder to time jumps and rhythm sections. So overall with these differentials, We've been super happy with them in all conditions, whether it's low grip or high grip. And the big thing is, again, just the acceleration, consistency over a long run, and uh, the overall acceleration. So with that being said, 
Another thing to consider with these differentials is the increased fuel mileage. Because the differentials aren't bleeding as much power, it's a more direct feel. It just makes for a more efficient drivetrain as well as increased fuel mileage. Now with these differentials, you can use the existing uh, 12 tooth underdrive pinion or the 13 tooth uh, standard pinion, but the ring gear has been slightly modified to have a more efficient uh, mesh and a little bit freer drivetrain. And then one last thing in closing, uh, with these differentials, um, it's usually a good idea, at least for your initial testing and running, to find out what you like for yourself. To start with just a slightly lighter uh, fluid in all three differentials. So for example, if you ran 7104 with the original differentials from Mugen, you may want to start with 573. So just decrease the weight just slightly um, as a starting point. Um, in truck, it's not quite as critical because of the big tires. Uh, normally in truck with the old diffs, I would run 10, 15, 7. And with the new uh, high traction diffs, I'm able to run 10, 10, 7.